It's really not worth your money if you're watching a extremely, extremely short movie. Hello Nathan Nice, welcome to my channel. My name is Nathan and this is Action Channel. Hello Nathan Nice, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a movie review, but first I'd like to ask you to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. That will be absolutely terrific. So today we are talking about a movie, a recent release movie called Eye for an Eye, The Blind Swordsman. This movie is about a bounty hunter that they call Ghost Killers who is blind and takes it upon himself to help a woman whose entire family that has been killed to find justice. The movie, the only negativity about this movie that I can find is that it is way too short. It is one hour and 17 minutes long. Now in my opinion that is definitely way too short. And we're talking about maybe at the end, the credits, maybe four minutes of end credits. So that is absolutely terrible. I don't like that. And I kind of felt like they edited it out too much. And I also felt like there was a lot more to tell. Now, before we go any further, I would like to show you a clip of this movie. <laughs> I believe that this movie is an inspiration from the Japanese story of Zadoichi, the Blind Swordsman. And this is a story that has been told before in uh, different variations. And this is more like the Chinese version of it. Uh, I have seen another movie, American made type of film called Blind Fury, Ruka Hauer. And that was a bit of an inspiration from that story. It has not been overused, but it has been used before. Either way, I still truly enjoyed it. The action is terrific and the cast is great, even though I don't recognize any of them. And I think that's uh, kind of refreshing. Speaking of the cast, uh, I give the cast an A because I think everybody did a terrific job. I couldn't find any pictures of the cast. They were pretty hard to find and I was only able to find the two that I just put up there, as you saw. But again, everybody did a terrific, terrific job playing their parts. The action in this movie was hard hitting and it was bone breaking literally the actor who plays the lead role uh, his name is uh, Miao Zhe did a, an absolutely terrific job uh, with the action in this movie because he had to keep his eyes closed the whole time and he does play a blind man after all so I can't imagine the work he had to go through just to make sure everything came out well, uh, including the uh, choreographers and how to shoot the movie and edit the movie. It was just absolutely terrific and the lead character, the lead uh, actor just did a terrific job uh, playing the blind swordsman. You know, it was just, it looked like a lot of hard work to do. So. I mean, that could be maybe main, 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 the main reason why the movie is so short because it's kind of hard to play a, a blind man uh, and being able to fight with your eyes closed. So, but it, it came out really, really well. Uh, I applaud to that. Uh, the story, a story I'll give a C minus. 
I truly enjoyed the story. I really did. However, what really killed it was the running time. It was, again, one hour and 17 minutes. It was way too short. And uh, I kind of felt like, again, there was more story to tell. And it, it could have been better. So I had to get this, I had to get the story to see minus just based on the fact that it is a way too short of a movie. You can do better than that. Overall, I'll give this movie a B minus. It is a really great kung fu movie. Uh, lots of uh, kung fu action. Um, but again, movie was too short, so it gets a B minus. Great action, great acting. Uh, hell of a terrific story. Uh, it was just too damn short, you know? I mean, uh, if I want to get my money's worth, you better make it longer, so. Uh, other than that, a uh, truly terrific uh, movie. I mean, I always suggest you wait until it comes out on streaming services where you don't have to pay to watch it. If you, I don't know if it's going to come out on Netflix or anything like that. Uh, but if it comes out on a free streaming service, I will let you know that. And I think that would be the best time to enjoy it. It's again, very short movie and it's really not worth your money if you're watching a extremely, extremely short movie. Uh, other than that, you can uh, pay to watch it on any streaming service and that is all I got for you guys. So hopefully you watched this uh, video all the way to the end. If you did, please leave a comment down below. I love action movies and that would tell me that you saw this video all the way until the end. And I truly appreciate it that you did. And that's all I got for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, live long and prosper. May the force be with you. Be actually to each other. Party on, dudes. And go watch some more Kung Fu movies. And I'll see you guys on the bounce. Ha!